<laughs> hey, good morning. There's a little green guy in there. <laughs> Did you see a little green guy? No. He's in a cheese string and he's... Who is that? That's Beetlejuice. Oh, that's Beetlejuice. Yeah. I'm Today always... he's green. I've always wondered who Beetlejuice is. Well, there he is. Oh, this way. <laughs> what was it? You can go right here. big gold woman. All right. Okay, Ray Liotta will be in here soon. Uh, Croy is here. She's one of the first people to try out for Jackie's job. You know Croy? She, uh, I always thought she was homeless, but she's not. She has a home. Is that right? Because I, I thought she was homeless, too. Uh, Croy's like, hey, I can, I can be on the radio, too, you know. I'm sure she'd love to be. And she's dressed beautifully oh, for the occasion. Oh you look God. great. You look great. She's into the whole belly shirt thing. She's into a belly shirt. <laughs> and Croy's not a young woman. I mean, and she... Uh, what is in her hip? Uh, she's got stretch pants on, but there's something in her hip. Yeah. There's something... Like a pacemaker or something. Is there something in your hip, Robin, to take something in your hip? Yeah. Um, my, my, my magnifying glass. <laughs> oh. You have a magnifying Oops. glass. What do you need that for? For you have trouble seeing? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so you, you just carry a magnifying glass. You look fabulous. You look... Hi. Hello. Get talking to that microphone, Croy, please. Okay, if you're brought, gonna be on the radio. I brought you something, Robin Quivers. Okay, oh, oh, okay. okay. I'll get it later. And what do you do? You cut your hair or is that a wig? No. That's your hair? Yeah, I just oh, you, gave myself some bangs. Yeah, you look terrific. I tell you, the belly shirt, you look very much like uh, Jennifer Lopez, J-Lo. Wow. Thanks. Yes. The did, sound. did anybody ever tell you that? You look like J-Lo? No. All right. Well, you know, part of... Uh, oh, I see you have something. Yeah, um... Joe Franklin, the jo radio broadcaster. Joe Franklin, the radio broadcaster. He sends his best regards to you, and he opened up a restaurant called Memory Lane. Oh, isn't that great? Yeah, are you dating him? No. No. But I stopped in to her. get the menu on the way home, to yeah. read the menu while I was laying around. I see. You read and menus. And he was there. Yeah, and then I decide where I want to go. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> And, um, How are you doing? All right. Yeah. Yeah. I'm you. Doing you I'm. I mean, my finance is terrible. Yeah. But I'm still hiding out. Did you get your uh, architecture from Reagan? <laughs> You're suing. Are you suing Ronald Reagan, the ex-president of the United States? No, I've never consulted an attorney yet. I will this summer, though. You will. I've gotten that far. Yeah. She has a whole lawsuit uh, that she has planned against Ronald Reagan, the former president. Her architecture. Yeah. Well, what's going on with that? Well, all of my arc all of my deeds of sale are in the Lincoln Building, and they're all they're all brought up to two thousand one date. Mm -hmm. And um, what I'll do is this summer I'll hire an attorney for consultation. Yes. And I'll present my issue before him, and then I'll have him write a letter to the White House to tell them that there's a girl on the right. streets. Right. Right. And also. I approached Mr. Kofi Annan, but he did not reply. The reason That's the guy that from I the United here, Nations, isn't it? Yeah, Kofi Secretary Annan? General, the one that Michael yeah. Douglas went in front of. Yeah, how do you approach Kofi Annan? I mean, how does someone like you, a regular person, get in touch with him? Were you at his office? By uh, letter. Postal. Uh, by postal. Yeah. yeah. And um, You didn't hear back. No. Right. Also, I wrote to Mr. Greenspan, and I did not hear back. But, you know, I was thinking... When I write a letter, such as I've written to you, yeah. perhaps I'm too emotional. Right. And you guys are so industry and so blunt and decimal that maybe I just said too much. Yeah. Maybe he just thought I was some yeah, Sometimes girl. you ramble on about it. You do, yeah. yeah. Why did you get to the point? What are you suing about again? You, you, you invented what, something. Will I sue? Yeah. In my, I will sue for defamation of my life. Right. I will sue for a deprivation of my family, right. my children. Right. And But um, you don't have your children. Exactly. I was deprived of <laughs> oh, them. Oh, she was okay. deprived of her family. Oh, okay. It, it's unbelievable. Do you know right. what that means? I do. It yes. hurts. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. So you were saying uh, you were saying that you will sue Ronald Reagan yeah. for de then, deprivation of your family? Yeah. Yeah. And uh, do your children know you? No, they don't. No, well. no, they don't. But I will make a trust fund for them. Okay. Yeah, they took they took the kids do away. Do you know where they are? Well, I have the location. I'll yeah. Have, and I'll have a private investigator. Yeah. I'll yeah. have the means once I'm picked up. When she mm -hmm. sues, yeah. Mm -hmm. What I, is it, Gary? I got a question for Croy. How how old were you when they took your kids away? How old were the kids, I should say? Well, what they were practically at birth. And why because did they? Because I was not married and. Why did they tell you they were taking them away? Because I was not allowed to accept the finance of uh, welfare 
and be an unwed mother. Really? Yeah. And you were the only one. <laughs> mm. There's so many unwed mothers now, you know. Times have changed, and haven't they? And they all get welfare. Yeah. Who knows? That's right. Yeah. That's where the basis of her lawsuit is. I guess so. Right? No, I'm yeah. yeah. It. Yes. I'm, I'm so it. innocent. Yes. I'm so innocent about what I'm doing. How old were you? Gary makes a good point. How old were you? I, r- I really r- don't know. Yeah, it's hard to remember. So I, uh, have a, I have an explanation on that to you guys about my age. Uh-huh. Yes. Um, what are you, like 40? No, at, I'm 29. Oh, okay. I was 24 when I first met you, but let me explain something to you. Yeah. How I got my age. Yes. Do you remember in the Sports Illustrated Swimsuit Magazine, do you remember Andro- Andromeda? I mean, Aurora Borealis? Yes. Uh-huh. Do you remember how she was all red? Yeah. Well. <laughs> all right, listen to me. Listen to me. I'm, oh, I'm, what I'm trying I to say. I think this is good, Jackie. No. Uh, well, I told you I came from Criminal Couldn't do this right. stuff. <laughs> you're much better than Jackie already. <laughs> I've got to tell you, you're trying out for the job, and you're terrific. You always have been. You always know how to talk on mic. I brought mic. myself some background music. Good. You're going to be performing later? No, this is for my spot, right? Yeah. No, no, oh, you're doing fine. Audition, right? You don't need it. You're, you're doing just fine. You don't need any music, honey. Oh. You are music to my ears. Howard, you know what? Thank you. Yeah. I know is here. you like oh, stories. Now, now, Croy, uh, yeah. you're co-hosting, but Ray Liotta is here. He's a very famous actor. Right. That's Frank Sinatra, right? Yes. And, uh, and <laughs> you can good sit fellows. in. You can sit in while he does love, his interview. I'd love to. All I right. also worked to Robert De Niro last. Yesterday, day before yesterday. Did you? Yeah, I asked him what he liked to go on. Are you familiar with B E A? T E A U X, the boat, the glass boat. Yeah. Honey, Robert De Niro only dates black chicks. Nah. I feel sorry for him. Yeah, that's his thing. All right. Yeah, I don't think you're going to get a date but with him. But you shouldn't say that. You don't know. I think Ray Liotta's married or something, so I don't think you can get him. Hey, Ray, good to see you. How you doing? Ray, Ray, on, Ray on a career roll. Uh, Croy, sit down. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Ray is not used to that kind of beauty. So I hate it. I saw the little green guy, too. Who, what was that about? Uh, d- d- you don't want to be here for that. <laughs> Ray, uh, this is Croy, my co-host for the day. Nice to meet you. For the nice day. to meet you. Like, you yeah. You're every cool. bit as handsome as you are in film. Oh, God bless you. <laughs> yeah. Ah, she's a real charmer. She certainly is. Now, Croy, uh, you uh, let me talk to Ray a little bit because how often do I get a Ray Liotta in here? Right. Ray, you are on a career. Ro- Ray looks nervous. Yeah, I know. <laughs> He's all of a sudden going, "Why? Why did I say yes?" <laughs> you wrote to Bobby De Niro looking for a date, right, Croy? Right. Yeah. Did you ever day write to? Yesterday, did I haven't got an answer yet. The day before yet. yesterday. Yeah. What well, it's Ray. You know, it takes Time. No answer yet. Ray, you must get love letters all the time from uh, fans. Not that I know of. Really? I guess I have in the past, but I don't know. My sister takes all, all, uh, care of all my uh, fan mail now. Do you know Bobby D, Bobby De Niro? Of course yeah. you yes, do. Yes, of course. Yeah. He's worked with him. But I mean, are you still in touch with him since Goodfellas? No, 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 no. Really? I, yeah, I was in Copland with him, too, but... Not you know. even for champagne? Not even for champagne. Oh. <laughs> At, the At the Tribeca? No. At the Tribeca, you don't see it. <laughs> that, that's his restaurant, right? right. Yeah, no. Yeah. No, his restaurant is uh, no boo. He owns Tribeca Grill as oh, well. Oh, he does? Yes, he does. Yeah. Wow. See, Croy is aware that's of right what's going the on from in there, no boo, yeah. I didn't realize that. Yeah. yeah. So, uh... She reads the menus, you know. I bought champagning. Yeah. Well, Bobby De Niro... <laughs> What is champagne? Just dropping in on a little clothes, having a champagne. I see. Right. Is that the remnants of Jackie? Yeah, that's Jackie. That's, the, the, that's all we have left of Jackie. That's left. Is okay. it really happy trails? Happy trails for Jackie, yes. Right. Yeah, he's, he's gone. Dust in the wind? Yeah, yeah. yeah he's Tumble dust in the wind. Yeah, he's gone, baby. He's gone. <laughs> anyway, uh, Ray, uh, yes, exciting to have you here because you are on a career high <laughs> with uh, Hannibal. That thing made about $9 billion, it right? It certainly did. Yeah, but you don't get a piece of that action, no, do you? No, I wish. You, you were just, a salaried I guy. I wish, yes, yeah. totally. Right, total, total salary Lucky guy. Lucky to be in it. Yeah, and uh, you got into that, I heard, in a weird way. You, like, saw Ridley Scott, the director of the gym or something? Yeah. And you went up to him and said, hey, I'm a huge fan of yours, and uh, uh, yeah, I'd like, like to, to be in any him. movie you, you, you do. Yeah. And, and you ever feel funny about yeah. doing something like that? No, 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 no. I, I did that too. I, I chased down Goodfellas too. Really? Yeah. yeah. I had an audition with Marty, and then it didn't. Uh, he was auditioning other people, and I saw him in Venice at the Venice Film Festival, and I just chased him down there. Wow. I still get scared when I see you. I still think you're like crazy, like uh, Henry Hill, you know what I mean? I, I Wasn't st- he in just last week or Yeah, Henry was in. We Henry. actually saw him live and in person in L.A. The yeah. best really? thing is when, when the real Henry laughs, you got that laugh down to a science. I did? Yeah, you really did, because Henry does, you know, that is Henry's yeah. laugh. Yeah. You know, I, the, so you have to think he's using mine. He's like, <laughs> you know, whatever, however the hell you did it. You what remember? is he doing now? Uh, he said he wants to do a sequel, doesn't he? He always, does. You want to know something? I swear to God, Henry gave me a proposal for a sequel to Goodfellas, and I read it, and I thought it was pretty good. 
Really? Yeah, I thought I thought Maybe it was you ought real to good. give it to Ray. I'm not giving it to Ray. Kids. I'm actually thinking of doing something with yeah. it. I, I'm telling you, I read it and I was kind of moved by it. That he wrote? He did it with another guy. He had a whole sort of story that he, he wants to what get done. What is this, done. after yeah, he goes into witness protection? Yeah, it was pretty good. It was pretty damn good. Huh. I, I mean, heard his now, kids Ray. were writing one. Yeah, no, no, this has nothing to do with his kids. This has to do with Henry and some project. You know, and you, you, you get a project from Henry, you think, well, what's it going to be? I mean, really? Yeah, but but the guy kind of got something going on. Hmm. Croy, you all right? Yeah. All right. She's just <laughs> staring at Ray. I'm, I'm you tranced. Know? You are. I'm delighted to know you. <laughs> are you in love with Ray Liotta? You know he's handsome. Oh, of course. He's a movie star. <laughs> How'd you get all your right. lips like that? Yeah, he's beautiful. Liner. Liner. I love your outfit. You approve? <laughs> Not you, Ray. I mean. <laughs> Croy. <laughs> Croy, you uh, are looking at Ray like he's a piece of me. Like, what would you do no. to him sexually? No, I'm learning from him how to meet the public. You are. Yeah. Really? All right, so you're really? learning. Yeah, because he just said he had to chase down. Ah. Uh -oh. You have <laughs> some ah. bad ideas, Ray. Yeah, you, you want to keep your mouth shut, Ray. <laughs> well, you see what Ray did? He went and he chased down these directors. In other words, if I don't stand up for myself, just forget it, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Well, Ray, isn't that kind of scary to these directors when you go up to them in the gym and say you want to work with them? Don't they no, get that all the nice. time? Like coming up to you on the street and saying, I like your work. I saw you on the airplane at one time. That's right. Up, so yes. I appreciate it. And we became friends. There we go. And here there we go. Am. That's it. So uh, things are going well for you now. You get in a movie like Hannibal and all of a sudden do things explode for you? Do people go, oh yeah, Ray Liotta. Do they suddenly remember and go, man, we got to put him in something? I think and that, that with a combination of Heartbreakers and I got a movie Blow coming out with Johnny Depp, which is really an intense movie. I love right. Yeah, I've been hearing good things about yeah. that yeah. myself. Some of the previous. It's it looks an amazing good. story about this guy who brought in hundreds of. He was he was the middleman for Pablo Escobar and the Menendez cartel. And I played Johnny Depp's dad. It takes place over 30 years. Johnny so. Depp's dad? Well, it takes place over 30 years. Oh, so I he's see. 20, he's so, yeah. Oh, yeah, I get yeah, it. Yeah. So he's a young so kid. Age, right. Yeah, I mean, you know, you know, you know. You mean Johnny Depp is going to be Escobar? No, he's going to be the, the guy who's the, uh, <laughs> the dealer. He's going to be the dealer. Right. See, I you know, when that how did you get this? Did you hustle him? Did you see him in the gym? Oh, she's an old friend. I, you know, listen, you try she everybody. She saw him in the gym. Give everybody a shot. She saw me in the gym. <laughs> Are you going to see Mr. Ridley Scott soon? Uh, no. You're not? No. Anthony Hopkins is a very nice man. You met him? No, there's one thing to impress me about. <laughs> what? What, what impressed you? Jaguar. He was talking about a Jaguar. There, was there a scene when he was in a car or something? <laughs> and there was trees on the windshield. <laughs> what? And the, there was a sky and sun. Was it? <laughs> <laughs> Ray wants it. Ray, was he in the Jaguar? I don't believe there was a scene like that. that. No. Yeah, yeah, I think okay, I think you might be confused about that. Probably. Ray just wants to get out of here. No. Don't, don't, don't <laughs> no, don't go yet. You thought Hannibal was scary, huh? Uh, anyway, so the scene Did where you like it or not like it. I I um. You want my honest opinion? Yeah. I did not like it. I did not like Hannibal. I why? Uh too scary for you? It, no, I don't know. I just thought it was too over the top. Yeah, it definitely can't be. Oh, yes, it was. I, what I loved about... Here's, here's my deal on Hannibal. What I loved about Silence of the Lambs was the fact that this guy... It was totally believable. Here was a guy who was a serial killer, and the movie didn't focus on him. What it was about was this other serial killer, and they, you know, he was there. What I thought could have been great in Hannibal is if they went back into the past, the youth of... Uh, of Hannibal. That's what they're working on now, I think. Yeah, I think that would oh, be... Oh, that's going to be the yeah, uh, I think third movie? So it wouldn't be so much of the old Hannibal. You would have you would have gone to him and seen what he was doing in the future. Also, his character was so over the top that he was like Superman. Here's this old guy. He's getting into rooms. He's in three places at once. He's bumping off everybody. You're watching this thing. You go, is there any believability? But he had a lot of energy from being out of jail. But what saved the movie? You think Me. he would want to be prote self-protective. Hold on what? a second here. What you think, <laughs> hold on one second, what you think would have happened, though, the thing that saved the movie, yeah. made it all worthwhile, is you getting your head cut off and them eating your brain. <laughs> <laughs> you saved the whole goddamn movie. <laughs> hey, Ron, who was, what happened when you saw the movie? You wrote me. You said, that, it, that was it. It was the, the best you'd ever seen. I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, yeah. Like people fainting so and, 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 and... Well, he was, the way, the way he, like, worked you like a, like a, like a uh, brain puppet. You know, where he was, like, <laughs> controlling your behavior. He'd snip a little, and then you'd talk one way, and then... Yeah, it was cool. Yeah. That was the cool part of the movie, and it sold the movie. I, I think, do you, were you you uh, disappointed in the film? No, I liked it. I took it for what it was. I right. saw what they, what, what Ridley was doing, and I, I just had a really... I think it should have been...
wasn't taken just as fun. It wasn't you shouldn't if you you do it's apples and oranges. So to compare them is is not fair to the movie. I don't. I think. had a good but time though watching the movie, it. and I guess I did. I did watch the whole thing all the way through. I told you I was not particularly thrilled with the movie, but then I kept saying I got to see it again. <laughs> so I don't so, know. So we don't know. We don't know where <laughs> we're at with this movie. To be quite honest with you, I think I would watch it again. So that's a good sign, I guess. I, I guess. don't know, but uh, I. I mean, I love. I love when you get your brain cut off. I mean, that's beautiful. The top of your head is off. Now, how does that how work? How do they do that? Now, how do they do that? Someone told me that's like an animation of no, you. No, they had, they had a, a, a puppet, an animatronic, a $70,000 exact likeness oh. of me. So, oh. Is so that freaky? Oh, it was really odd. Uh, going into the makeup trailer the first day and then just seeing myself sitting there. Because what what really wanted to do is what, when uh, uh, Hannibal takes my head off, he wanted to tie it in just as one shot. So yeah. you see it so he doesn't Ooh. use any cheap trick. And then most of the time I had a blue screen around my head uh-huh. and with uh, like little ping pong balls. And that's how they line up the brain. See, if I was shooting. I just would have taken the top of your head off. <laughs> I would go for the whole reality. You know, you know what? what I mean? I would like to know, why did you have to reschedule? You were supposed to come in one day. Yeah. And then we heard you weren't coming in. Oh, yeah. We got to ask you, how come you don't yes. want to take phone calls? What are you hiding? You no, must no, be no, hiding no, something. No, no, You're nothing, hiding no, something. No, 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 yes. no. No, no, because I hear some of these calls that come in. They're wacky. <laughs> you guys, you know, they're just no, there's got to be something. Up. What's going on? You still married or are you yeah. divorced? No, married. You still married? Two year old kid. Still. It's only been three years, four oh. years. Three years. You should be over by now. <laughs> I can't even believe it. And why did you get married? I mean, you you get tons of poontang. I, Does I, he? I don't know. That. Oh, yeah. Ray Liotta? What? Maybe he hit a good spell. You never know. Oh, come on. Did you do Six movies this year? Uh, yeah. Guy does okay. six movies this, a year. He, he gets it, huh? I mean, to be honest with me, when you're a big movie star, you, you're you on the set. There's tons of hot chicks. Even like some of the uh, interns that hang out there and some of these. Any set romances? Yeah, no, no, I mean, no, no, you no. don't tell me Very you don't get tempted. Very focused in my work. <laughs> really? Very focused. When you're standing fact, I had that part of my brain removed, so I don't even have to deal with that anymore. When you're sitting around on the set. Yeah. And a hot chick comes in like Croy or yeah, someone like, like that, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah I mean, you're going to be tempted. Aren't you? I, I'm feeling a little something here, but I'm controlling <laughs> myself. Yeah, he's a married man. I remember. Croy, you can't go out with Ray Liotta. I realize that. Right. Tell me, when you did the Rat Pack, yeah. w- <laughs> were you thrilled with the outcome of it? <laughs> it was It was put together. It was a very difficult uh, thing to do. Play to Frank Sinatra. Frank Sinatra, man. It was yeah, really how can you horrible. play an icon? Yeah, it yeah. was probably the most nervous I've ever been. A lot of people don't know this. Movie. I was asked to play Frank Sinatra ahead of Ray, Ray and I really? turned it down, yeah, and then Ray got it. I remember that. Yeah, that's it. Now, what is this about? You <laughs> said so he, he was offered, uh, What was that, Robin? He was offered a role in The Sopranos. Was it Tony yeah. Soprano? Yeah, I read this in the paper today. You were offered a uh, two-year commitment right. on the TV show Sopranos, right. where I guess you would have been an adversary of Tony Soprano. Yeah. And and you didn't like it for a couple of reasons. Number one, you didn't want to lose to Tony Soprano. Well, that was a joke. Oh, it was. <laughs> but still. <laughs> right. I think the show is brilliant, but you... Totally. I, I love the show, and I'd love to do something on it, but I didn't want to take two years. Things are really starting to come back now. And right. To take two years off to go do that and not be able to beat them up was not fun. If you're doing six movies a year, things are going good in movies. It's 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 Hard not that to it's go to you don't go to TV, TV when movies yeah. are doing yeah, so. It's well. not as if God Goodfellas was chopped liver either. You know, right. I mean, That's a mafia movie. I kind of did that genre. And you don't want to get sort of typecast exactly. or set or being you know, anything. When I thought about that, I mean, De Niro doesn't turn down anything. anything right. Know? I mean, he takes the jobs. Oh, De Niro. Now, what He's do you think? Nobu. You know, De Niro's smart now. He doesn't turn down any movie. Used to be years ago he had integrity, would only take certain movies. Right. He spent years reading scripts. He was broke. <laughs> now, now, you're right. So this is a lesson in showbiz. Now he takes every piece of crap there is, and the guy's rolling in dough. He'll, he'll mock himself. You know, he does the takeoffs on The Godfather. He does the right. takeoffs on, uh, you know, right. that Taxi Driver movie. He right. does everything now. Is it worth reading the scripts or just go do them? <laughs> no, I like to read them first. You read them I'm first. I'm still at that stage. You're still at the stage where you actually read the script. Yes. Yeah, right. <laughs> and maybe five years from now you won't you won't maybe not you think bobby d reads the scripts or he just goes ahead and does them i, I think he just likes to work he, he likes to work. the environment yeah, did that's you see that rocky and bullwinkle oh my god no, i missed that one bobby <laughs> d, well, why is bobby d only uh date black chicks when you were working with him on goodfellas <laughs> what did you see yeah, what did you see did you see any white chicks with him well they're all as pretty as robin so why wouldn't they <laughs> of course no but what, what is this thing? is it a fetish i mean I'm, what, only to be with black chicks i don't know what's your what? style I don't what, know. I mean, you do, you have, do you have a particular no i would I go to anything about this because ray has had some wild dating experience. Yeah, we talked to Ray about he dated yeah. a chick in a wheelchair. Yeah. yeah. Ray used to bang a chick in a wheelchair. A quadriplegic, right? Yeah. yeah. Quadriplegic. Wow. What's that? The arms don't That's even everything. work. That's everything. 
I kind of get that. I'm into a control <laughs> thing. <laughs> I like I like tying chicks up <laughs> well, and having them incapacitated. Oh I love this situation. <laughs> yeah, that was a hell of a situation. <laughs> <laughs> you loved it, right? I I, I liked her. I, it was a relationship that just kind of started, and and I didn't mean to. I wasn't like attracted to say I got to you know be with this person, and it just kind of developed. And she was a great girl. Man, it's unbelievable to me because I mean here the guy you know good looking guy could have anybody he wants, yeah. and he said you know what. I'm not prejudiced. I'm going to be I with a chick her. in a wheelchair. And you met her when she was in a wheelchair. It wasn't like you were dating her. She had no, an accident I, and you hung in there as a mercy F. No. <laughs> right. <laughs> she, was, oh. she was two years into it. Where do you meet that chick? Uh, through Melanie Griffith, actually. Really? Yeah, it she's was a, a friend of up, hers. Huh? You meet Melanie Griffith close up. I got a great Sharing fix up for you. <laughs> no, she, I was And then, just and then, and then a girl no. in a wheelchair shows up. <laughs> what does she think of you? What do you do? Yeah, I mean, honestly. What, I mean, Melanie. Hey, she thanks, Melanie. <laughs> Got anybody with mongoloidism? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know what I'm saying. I no. mean, you're, you're, I mean, were you shocked when all of a sudden a girl showed up in a wheelchair? No, no, I knew about it. Oh, you and did? I'd seen her picture and, and heard, you know, knew the story. Just, wow. I don't know, just she happened. She was pretty, right? Yeah. Oh, of course. But, no. Of course. Of course. <laughs> yeah, but I'm just saying it's an unusual thing. It's very unusual. It's a very unusual thing. Ray is a very open-minded guy. That You know what? That made me realize your humanity. There you go. That you could be that open-minded. Especially right. you could get lots of chicks. Lots of chicks. Yeah. You're not desperate. No. Jesus Christ. You're not like Ron. <laughs> What's it like? Walking to around in the park alone. Aren't you hey, scared to? Who? But aren't you scared Ron to? Ron Zimmerman you know, over you, there. You don't oh. even want to know Ron. <laughs> Homeless. Hey. You know what? But but is it scary the first time you have to have sex with a chick in a wheelchair? No. 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 no? Scary. Like you said, I'm open-minded. But don't you have to lift her out of the chair and put her on the bed? There's, 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 yeah, sort of. I mean, kind yeah. of threshold-ish. <laughs> is, the is there a little wine involved? Do you have to? <laughs> a lot of wine. <laughs> Are you kidding? They, they remove a part of your brain. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, but I'm saying, like, even to make the first move to kiss and stuff is awkward because you're standing, she's sitting. You know, after a while, you, you know, it doesn't happen right off the bat. You meet somebody, you like them, you start getting to know their personality, yeah. who they are, and then you just see them for the inside. I really? Really? The cliche. <laughs> I've never done that in my whole life. I've never seen anyone <laughs> believe the surface. I'm so surfacey, it's terrible. But at least I recognize it, you know. <laughs> exactly. I, you know. That's a uh, part of solving the problem. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> but but I, I mean, I, I would be afraid to make the move. Like I'd say, okay, let's make love now. Like, do I do I lift her out of the chair? Do I let her do it herself? I mean, even if she says no, what do you do? Right. You, yeah. you well, you go keep lifting. Think it through. <laughs> can she feel? Think it through. When you make love to her, though, could she feel everything? They said that she did. It she did. Yeah, yeah it wasn't. I think it was more about the contact than the ex actual. Really? Yeah. But do you concentrate on? <laughs> you guys are intrigued with this. <laughs> I, I, you want to know? I get about a million yeah, questions yeah, every. Remember last time we did this over the phone? I am so intrigued. That, that me and kissing Whoopi. That was your like. You love that. What'd you say, Croy? Let's talk about Ridley Scott. Oh please, honey, you're. Way That's, off base. Your <laughs> That's your agenda. I got I got five more minutes of Ray Liotta. I'd rather hear about kissing Whoopi Goldberg and the wheelchair chick. Yeah, but you okay. know she only has feelings sort of at the top part of her body, right? Right. Which, uh, yeah, that's what she was saying. Yeah, I think she was. There, there was some starting to surface up, and from what I've heard, I haven't spoken spoken to her in years, and things seem to be getting better. Wow. Her. Yeah. Like, I think you cured her. <laughs> I think your semen <laughs> has healing powers. <laughs> <laughs> I think you have to give some of that to uh, Christopher uh, Reeve and heal oh him. My God. Can you imagine? Oh my God. <laughs> imagine they found out that Ray Liotta semen cures. Now, how do you? <laughs> yes. Wait a minute. How do you? How do you insert the semen in, in, into Christopher Chris. Reeve? You know how? The old-fashioned way. Are you? You kidding me? You're not doing that, though. No, you don't need that. Uh, no, 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 no. You don't need any of that nonsense. Ever, ever have any Melanie homosexual Griffith? experience? What is no, it? What no, is that, Croy? No, no, no. Do you ever see Melanie Griffith? <laughs> <laughs> That's with true. Antonio She's not. Banderas? Antonio Banderas. Do you socialize with him? No, I, no. I've never met Antonio. Right. All right. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. That's a good. That was a good question, yeah. Croy. Well, back to my well, married people usually do have dinner affairs. Is that right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what is that, Robin? Has Ray ever had any homosexual experience? Oh, get out. He's so open minded. Ray is all man. <laughs> Ray, you never had anything. No, no, like no, that, no, that, no, no, no. Christ's sake. No, no, what no, kind no. of question is that? Uh, well, would you play one in a movie? <laughs> Ray's got a gun up to his own head right now. <laughs> <Really>? <laughs> Easy. So, anyway, uh, uh, yeah, so yeah, I'm always fascinated by that. I'm always fascinated by it. But as an actor, you probably somehow process that, and you yourself could play a man who makes love to a woman in a wheelchair. You could. Or be in a wheelchair. I might develop a little project for you. Like Al Pacino in The End of the Godfather. What about it? Wasn't he in a wheelchair in the backyard? No. 
Pat that, that was, how did no, that, that was end? Brando. That Brando. That was Brando. No, didn't he? he didn't Marlon Brando it. crash and didn't he fall down how in the garden? That's so quick. Look <laughs> 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 at this music. Ever, right. little... <laughs> but you know what I mean, Ray? Isn't it weird to 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 no. be? It isn't. It isn't weird to have that kind of sex. No. I'm obsessed by what it. What did your friend say? Yeah, did your friend start like saying, hey, Ray, what's no, going on? Was, I mean, definitely was an unusual situation that that's not for the norm. And I mean, you go out to dinner, it'll take a long time to get in and out of the car and everything else. That, yeah. yeah. It's a Movies, whole situation. Movies. Disneyland. Oh, my goodness. Disneyland. Yeah. Went to you Studio to 54. We're dancing in Studio 54. How do you dance? It's, it's, seriously, I, mean, I don't mean to be funny about it. No, it's just in the chair and you dance. You and just, you dance you around the chair? Fun. Yeah. You would, wait, hold on a second. <laughs> you go to Studio 54. And I've that's got the video. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have the video of that, honey. Right, not his date. Right, right, right. Oh, my goodness. You go to Studio 54, right? Yes. And she's sitting there in the chair. Right. All right. All right, pretend I'm her. <laughs> <laughs> so you're at Studio 54, and, you, and, and she starts dancing around. And you sit, she sits, and you dance around. Yeah. And it can be done. Yeah. Look at you, man. You are uninhibited. Not self-conscious at all. At this point, i got to figure you're praying for phone calls. <laughs> 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 my questions are worse. Oh, my gosh. i got to go. Yeah, huh? Hey, things have run out of time. No, Ray, I am very happy for you Thank that you. Uh, Hannibal is so successful. Thank you. I thought your performance was great, but you're always great. You're, you're an accomplished actor. You proved it. You've Thank proved you. it a million times over. I'm happy you're getting a lot of work. They shoot Son of a Beach down the street from me all the time. Do you I ever stop? Would you days. like a part in that? I can get. I can work. Not? Yeah, I mean, really, I could work you into that. I'd love to have Ray, Ray Liotta. What fun! Wouldn't that be great? <laughs> Would you do a dancing with a girl in a wheelchair? Why not? Oh, there you go. Now you have your script. Because I could write that in. I can just see him dragging his surfboard and his wax in his hand, his little boxer shorts all hanging, walking in the sand. I bet you could. I love your outfit, by the way. Thank you. I'm talking to Ray. Oh. Right. He looks handsome Shark as hell. Skin. Yeah. And now you're happy. You have a regular home life. You're married. You're very, you're very centered. You're because settled. You're not a playboy anymore. I never was. Really. You never were a playboy. And, why, and, and and now that you're married, do you live a normal life? Totally. Yeah. And you, what do you live, like in Beverly Hills or What's something? What's a no. normal life? Yeah, no. what is a normal life? You have a two-year-old girl. I mean, how much more That's normal nice. can it get? You have a yeah, baby. right. You What's her name? Kid. Carson. Carson. Nice. <laughs> no offense. That's a boy's name. Carson after who? Yeah. I just We just liked it. It was yeah. one we agreed on. And what is your wife? Like, is she some sort of model or something? No, she's acting. She's producing. She does a lot of different things. She must be a she's piece of She's got a series ass. that she just created for HBO that looks like it's going to go. Oh, yeah? What is that? I don't want to say it yet. Really? Oh, Top secret? I would love to yeah. produce. You would love to produce? Yeah, because yeah. that's the financial end of it before you get into directing, right? True. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but your finances have always been so bad, Crow. <laughs> <laughs> what does she want to do? What does she want to do? What do you want to produce? You? Who are you? <laughs> yeah, Ray wants to Actually, I'd like to see a movie done about uh, Barrymore, the street where Barrymore's theater. Is it uh, Drew Barrymore? Yeah. Uh, we're for John Barrymore? Yes. I would like to see a film done in the vicinity of the John Barrymore Theater, like in the Twilight Hours. <laughs> Yeah. Ray, what about that? Any, I feel that. Any, <laughs> interest, any interest in that? Oh, uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> well, that's a possibility. We'll talk about that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Now, Ray, yes, uh, so you have a normal life now, yes, and you say your wife is a producer, right? And an actress. An actress. And uh, how you meet? A, how do you meet abroad like this? I mean, everyone would like to have a. How does a woman meet a, a radio met a friends? Yeah. What's her name? <laughs> Michelle. <laughs> Michelle. And what do you, you? Someone set you up on that's a date? That's not a very good way to what? advertise for a star. What's her whole name? What? what? Give her some integrity. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I know. Well, you should be scared. You should be very scared. You What's thought Hannibal was scary. That's nothing. <laughs> no, what I'm saying is that l let me let me handle this for a second, Croy, <laughs> because things are going terribly wrong. Um, what I'm saying is yes, sir. that someone like Michelle, yes. how does she meet a Ray Liotta? So a lot of the girls in the audience would like to meet a big star like yourself. How did she go about we snagging a Ray met, Liotta? We met through friends. Right. So your That's friends are always fixing you up? No. <laughs> how come we no. never bang chicks on the set? Well, I mean, even before you were married. Why? You, did you bang Should Lorraine Bracco? With? No. No? No, I, 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 I really seriously really like to work. You like to work. Not everybody likes to do it all the time. What are you, a total professional or something? Pretty much. Yeah. I don't respect that. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, Son of the Beach, let me talk to you. I have a story I'm developing for Croy. I would like Croy and you to do a love story. That sounds great. Together. That's actually we why she's see. here. We wanted to see if there was any I chemistry yeah, between I, the two. You don't know it, but you're auditioning right now. <laughs> really? Yeah, yes, you are. You don't have to audition anymore. Do you? <laughs> you don't have to audition anymore, do you, Ray? Actually, I did for this this past movie. It's a comedy. It's an out and out comedy, and they weren't sure, so I went and. Uh, Which movie is the that? Casting people, uh, Heartbreakers with Jennifer Love Hewitt and Sigourney oh, yeah, yeah. Weaver, Gene Hackman. That's out right now, right? 
right? It's it's out March 21st. Out. Oh, okay, yeah. Is it a good movie? It's really good. It's good. It's Audrey Hepburn, right? Who's Audrey Hepburn? Yeah, she Hepburn. played. She played yeah. yeah, she yeah. played Audrey Hepburn. Yes, her. yeah, just up for on that everything. reason. You like her for that yeah. reason? Yeah. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Ray. So, so and the way a woman meets a Ray Liotta <laughs> yeah. is what you're saying. Because I want the women to uh, learn to meet me, to meet you, or someone like you, your caliber of an actor. Uh, you have to know his friends. You have to know your friends. And who are these friends that set you up on dates? Is it was just a friend who knew her. Right, and they said you two would be great together. No, it was just casual. It wasn't uh, it? Wasn't like a setup. It wasn't like here. I want you to meet somebody. It was just a group Very of people. She was there, and, and she was at the party. You right. were at the party, kind of thing. Right. I see. Uh, sort of like your scenario. Whose scenario? Yours. My oh, scenario. <laughs> Who'd you meet? Amy. Uh, no, not Amy. Do you, do you, do you date a lot now? Yes, I, I. I have dated. Yes, I have. And uh, a lot. Yeah, well, well, no. I, I. I. Yes, I was telling Robert I met somebody at, at, at a. Uh, I went to a dinner. Uh, at a restaurant, a guy was having a party. I right. met somebody there, and we've been uh, seeing each other. Yeah, it wasn't like, like what a do you do? Fix we up like or movies. Or like, where can you go? Are people over? We go. We went to the movies one time. Yeah. <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> we went, we, uh, what did we see? <laughs> see, it's not fun being asked, is it? <laughs> no, I don't mind answering. <laughs> no, I'm. Try, I don't even remember what the hell we saw. <laughs> but uh, really? yeah, you know what? It isn't fun being asked. <laughs> no, no, no I'm really not interested <laughs> in talking horrible. about it. No, I, you know what? I'm going to get you out of this misery. <laughs> all right, anyway, uh, Ray, it's always great to see you. Uh, congratulations on Hannibal and all the movies coming out. You got one coming out with Heartbreakers. Heartbreakers coming and out blow. and blow. Okay. Wow. Look at you, man. You're on so fire. <laughs> Crow, you want to say anything to Ray before he leaves? You're welcome for your life. Oh, uh, oh. <laughs> thank you, God. You're welcome for your life. Right. What does that mean? I'm just pleasure to meet you. A pleasure to meet pleasure you. To pleasure to meet you. Right. All right. Is there anybody you'd like him to take a message to, Croy? He knows a lot of people. He knows everyone in show business. Yeah, Do you want? But I'll be glad to see one of your movies now. That'd be very nice. Right. Did you ever see Goodfellas? Uh, yes, I did, but I saw it on television. Saw it on television. Yeah. yeah. yeah right. Yeah. It, but when it was on 42nd Street, yeah. I used to go and hang out out in front of the theater all the time. Is that right? Yeah. <laughs> right. All right. Anyway, listen. <laughs> I just have to say, uh, Ray, it's great seeing you again. Thank you, sir. And uh, uh, i got to take a break from this. <laughs> I know. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, thank you, Croy. What well. are you doing? You, where, where are you going now? You're going to go to what, the Today Show yeah. or something like that? Are you really? Yeah. Today uh, and then Regis. Busy day. No, Regis. Busy, busy. I think Conan. Conan? you got to wait a couple hours for that. All right, we got to take a break, and we'll be back right after these words. Hey, Ray, what did you, th you think of Croy? She was a character. She definitely was a character. Croy? Yeah. Croy, what did you, what did you think of Ray? He's delightful, and he's intelligent, and he's what, he's a homeboy. I like him a lot. You have a good time in there? Yes, I did. Yeah? In fact, I think it was the most enjoyable 20 minutes I've ever had there. All right, Croy. Well, right. thanks for coming down. You're welcome. Thank All you right. for having me.